What up, everybody? So, only two more boxes for the month of November, and the last two showed up today. That being Comic Block and Arcade Block. So, for the season's greetings, put on my Spider-Man sweatshirt to open my Comic Block. They put this, they're putting it in shrink wrap now, which is something new, but this isn't the new box style, though. If you look on the website, or on the Nerd Block one, which is sitting right here somewhere, they changed the box style, so maybe they just ran out of the new one, they're giving me the old style. Doesn't really matter, just something to note, but yeah, now they're putting it in shrink wrap, versus just the usual piece of tape over the opening. Why? I'm actually not sure. I have no idea. But, that's what they're doing now, so, what is? But yeah, I actually like the new box style. Nothing wrong with the old one, but they still have it saying that this box is mutating from when they changed the box, so it's a little bit outdated at this point. But anyway, alright, let's take a look at what we got. <laughs> First, no surprise, we got a t-shirt here. Let's take a look. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. So... Who are these characters? I kind of recognize them. I want to say that's Luke Cage there, but I'm not totally sure. Uh, I'm going to feel really stupid when I look at this. I want to say it's Heroes for Hire. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm not totally sure on that. I can only see partial characters. Uh, no, I don't think it's Heroes for Hire. It's something else which I do not recognize, and I know I'm going to feel really stupid when I look at the card. But yeah, I don't recognize the symbol either. But uh, either way, it's still a pretty cool t-shirt. I like the design of it. I don't recognize the characters though. Damn it! I hate it when that happens. So I'll wait to give that shirt a rating until I look at the card. Alright, next. So we got here. 60 ounce molded mug. Nerd block exclusive. Daredevil. Let's take a look at this. We have been getting a lot of mugs lately. Oh my gosh. So hard to open. Alright, let's take a look at this. Six ounce, not 60 ounce. I'm retarded. Come out! For fuck's sake. Here we go. Oh, okay. It's one of the little mini mugs. Alrighty. So there he is. There's the daredevil. So it's just in the shape of his head and it's got that metallic red. Yeah, we've gotten these before too. They're like mini mugs, which I'm not sure what the point of them is. They're like too big to be shot glasses, but they're... Uh, not big enough to be coffee cups. I guess they could be like espresso cups or something like that. I'm not totally sure what their purpose is. Maybe they're just for display. Um, yeah, but it seems odd to give a cup that's so tiny. I I'm really not sure what you'd use it for. Maybe for like, it seems like a cup to put like maybe eggnog in or something like that. Because they use smaller cups for that. Or like brandy or uh, cognac or something like that. They have smaller cups. But I don't think that's its intended purpose. But that's just something you could do with it. Other than that, I'm not really sure what you do with such a small mug. But either way, still cool. I like Daredevil. That works for me. And our last item that isn't a comic is a lanyard. And it looks like we got a Deadpool lanyard. There's that. And then we got the little symbol there. Up and down the side. There's the reverse color right there. So that's what that looks like. So lanyards are something I don't use too often. Um... I don't think I've ever used a lanyard, and even if you do, you kind of only need one. But I guess if you want to use them, you can switch them out. But it's good if you have a bunch of keys. I don't. I just have a car key. That's all I use. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Lanyard. All right. Time for the comics. And right off the bat, I see one that I like. Batman Ninja Turtles. Cool. I love that. So there we go. Number one. Batman Ninja Turtles. So this is a little bit different. Um, this is Batman Ninja Turtles Adventures. So just recently, uh, Batman and Ninja Turtles did do a crossover through IDW. Um, this is, again, it's IDW and DC, but I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a different series because this one's Batman Adventures and it also has different artists in it. Um, the Batman Ninja Turtles one was done by Freddie Williams, who I met actually, along with Kevin Eastman. I met them both at the same time. They did a signing down here in San Diego. I got original artwork from both of them. Really cool. Freddie Williams is an amazing artist, by the way. So I really like the series they did. So I'm guessing based on the popularity of that, they decided to do one that's more geared towards kids, because this one says Nickelodeon on it. So it's just the more the cartoon style of both in a crossover comic. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this one is exclusive, which is a bummer. This is the RE cover, though, which means it's a little more rare. But yeah, I would, would hope for an exclusive cover, but you know, it's still a really awesome comic nonetheless. Alrighty, so here's the answer to my question. 
What was the, the t-shirt? Here we go. There's the symbol. There's the characters. And that's Har Harbinger? Harbinger? I've never heard of that. I know Valiant Comics, but I've never heard of this group before. Um, yeah, so that's why I didn't recognize them. That makes sense. This also does not look like... Uh, it might be an exclusive cover. It says presented by Nerd Block in the corner there, but it doesn't say anything about an exclusive cover, so I'll have to read the card and see what the situation is on that. All right, next we have Masked. There's that comic there. Another series that I'm actually not familiar with. So this is the problem I've been saying about um, this box a lot of the times. They, when they put in random issues, um, I think if they have exclusive covers, then yeah, go ahead and put it in. But when it's just a random issue of a comic, and even if it's number one, uh, I'm usually not too thrilled about it. Last month was good because all the comics were exclusive covers. So far, this one, not so much. And I'm sure this is a cool series, although I haven't heard of it before. Um, I, it's hard to get into a series when they just give you one issue. So when they're random issue, when they're random series, you only get the first issue, and if you want to continue the story, you have to go out and buy more yourself, which is just a hassle. So the only way I like it when they introduce new series is when some other boxes have done this, is when they do um, graphic novels. So you actually get the first like five to ten issues, so you can actually keep up with the story. Otherwise, it's just kind of random issues, and they're not worth anything because they're not exclusive covers, so I'm not a big fan of that. But here's one I do recognize, Hellboy. Big Hellboy fan. Dark Horse is awesome. I like that. And this one, again, says presented by Nerd Block, but I'm not sure if that means exclusive cover or not, so I will have to look at the card and double-check that. Looks like we also got one more thing in here. I'm guessing this is an art print, maybe? Yeah, doesn't have any sort of markings on it, so it just looks like casual versions of a lot of superheroes, all the women superheroes. Looks like we got like Rogue, Storm, Mystique, uh, Jubilee. So it looks like a lot of the all the X-Men women that are just in casual costume. I actually really like that. That's kind of cool. Interesting, interesting little concept there. But there's no markings on it or anything. No limited run, no artist or anything. I'm assuming that's the art print. Can only assume that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Art print. Well, I do like the artwork. That's really cool. It's kind of funny, and that's cool. But yeah, uh, no uh, limited run or anything like that, so usual stuff from that. So that looks like all the stuff from the box. So I'll look at this card and see what the situation is. It looks like a lot of these comics are exclusive, though, which is good. So if that's the case, then I am pretty happy with that. But I'll check prices and everything like that and do a little research on these companies, and then we'll come back, talk about some value, and give this box a rating. See you soon. All right, we are back. Let's talk about some value on these items. First, the t-shirt from a comic which I cannot pronounce. I want to say Harbinger. It may be Harbinger. I'm not sure. Either way, whatever that word is, is this. So, the shirt actually has a really nice design. Whether or not I recognize the heroes or not, it's still designed really well. I like the whole, like, not necessarily monotone, but with the white and blue and the hard black background. So I totally wear this shirt. I think it looks really cool. I think it's very well designed. The only problem is it just may not be very well-known characters, which <clears throat> may not be a big deal to you. But that being said, I'm going to give this shirt a 7.5 out of 10, which I think is quite a good shirt. But it'll get the standard $12 to $15 value, as all shirts do. Uh, next, our mug. This, uh... I, you know, first I should say this, I couldn't find, I found very little information on any of these items. Now, this could be for one of two reasons. It could be that I'm just reviewing this box very early, but you know, it has been here a little while, so it's not that early, but, or maybe just not that many people are subscribing to this company anymore, so there just isn't that much stuff out there, which would actually be a good thing, because that means the things in here are more valuable. So I'm not sure which it is, it may just be I'm reviewing this much sooner than other people, maybe they haven't gotten their boxes yet. So the prices I'm giving are going to come down pretty substantially. So if you watch this two days later and check the prices, you're going to be like, what the hell? You didn't give accurate prices. It's like, yes, I did, but it was accurate for that exact moment. As days go by, they drop more and more. So expect these prices to drop. Back to what I was saying. The mug is going to go for about $12. I can see this price dropping. Even though it's exclusive, it is just a mug. And it's a very small mug. Full-size mugs usually don't even cost 12 So that price is definitely going to drop, because I can't imagine a lot of people trying to seek that out, really. So that price is going to drop a lot, but as of right now, it's at 12 Then, our little lanyard. Little lanyard right here. 
I'm going to put that at about 6 to 8 um, because that's the only uh, information I can find. Same thing with this. This is going to drop to pretty much nothing. I don't think a lot of people are going to buy that. So that price will drop as well too. But right now it's at 6 to 8. Then, on to our comics. Mm -hmm. So the good news is, from what I was reading on the little card here, it said they are all exclusive. Which I'm not sure if they know what the word exclusive means because I was looking elsewhere online and seeing these issues and them having the saying nothing to do with the comic block company. So they're variant issues, that's for sure. But are they exclusive to comic block? Apparently not. So I don't know if they're lying to us or what. But it says they're exclusive, but on nowhere on the cover does it say exclusive to that. So I'm not sure what the situation is. But for now, we just got to kind of trust them in this situation. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, the Batman Ninja Turtles. Um, this is supposed to be an exclusive cover. And also what threw me off is their description of it. It said that um, what lies behind this uh, one of a, or this variant cover is something that we never thought we'd see would happen, a uh, tale that we never thought would be told. Like all this stuff, like it's the first time, like things that have been doing for the first time, and it's like, this isn't being done for the first time. They already did this comic recently. Like, I don't know who's writing these things, but they're obviously not educated in comics because they just did a Batman Turtles. Like, I don't know why you're saying for the first time. That's really weird. So, which makes me think that maybe they just don't know what they're talking about. Anyway, this comic is going to go for about 7 to $10. So, again, it was really hard to find info on it because there just wasn't any. Like, if they're exclusive to the box, they're not even listed yet because not many people have gotten them yet. I would imagine that one going for a little more, actually, but we'll see when more of them show up because I like that. I think that's really cool. So I think that might might be a different price down the line. Next, we got our Masked. This one's only going to go for about 5 to 6 because it's a uh, newer, uh, less known series, so I don't think people care too much. This one's an exclusive cover as well. I don't think people care too much if it's exclusive, um, if it's not really a series they want to read or it's not one they want to know. So it's not that big of a deal that it's exclusive, so it doesn't increase the value much at all. Then, our Harbinger Bringer comic. This one is going to go for about 12 So this, is, I'm assuming, has been around for at least a little while to gain some notoriety and gain a decent value. Um, and it came with a matching shirt, so 12 bucks. All right, got a little value there. Then Hellboy. This one's only going for about 10 I thought it would be going for more because Hellboy's such a much popular character. So yeah, but only going for 10 on that. Then our art print. Da -da. They really need to sign and number these or at the very least number them with a limited run. It would give it value. But without that, this is pretty much only worth the paper it's on, which is 3 to $4. It's a cool picture. I really like it, honestly. I think it's really funny. I'm going to hang it up on my walk because I genuinely like it. But yeah, without anything else, that goes. That's gonna go for three. Sorry, I just I took a close look at this picture and realized you can see Mystique's nipple hanging out. I don't know if that was intentional or not. You gotta look really closely. But yeah, you can see like the side of her nip just popping right out there, just barely. But yeah, that's kind of funny. All right. What ifs? Got a little nip action. Makes it a little more interesting. Get what you pay for. So, that, I think that would have been a really cool print if they had a limited run on it, but they didn't. So, is what it is. Uh, the good news is they stopped trying to pawn off their coupon as an item, from what I saw. They stopped doing that, which is good. But everything in this box is 100% exclusive, supposedly. So, if they are right, it is exclusive to this box. I don't know how those are showing up elsewhere, but supposedly 100% exclusive, which is good. That's what I was saying. If they're exclusive covers, throw them in. If they're just random covers that aren't exclusive, then pass on those. Put more other stuff in the box. They have been doing some good on the other stuff in the box, to be quite honest. A little mug and a lanyard, like, pretty cheap stuff to add on. I wish they would focus more on comic stuff and less on comics. Like, put one comic in there every month, make it a badass comic, and then put stuff in there. Put shirts, put collectibles, put figures. I want it to be comic themed, not just comic book themed. I hope that's the direction they go because we don't need that many comics. There are a bunch of badass ones. Yeah, yeah, make a month where there's three of them in there. Like, big fucking deal. But if there's not, just slide one in. Or maybe make one box without it or something like that. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. I wish there was more collectibles and things like that in the box. I'm fine with the comics, but not fully focused on that. It's just not as exciting, especially when I'm getting comics that I haven't heard of before. So it's like, 
okay, like there's that. Um, but speaking of which, they said they're gonna have some exclusive figures in the next box, which I'm very excited for. They say collect one of these uh, exclusive little bombshells in each block, which is cool. I just collected this series, and I'm gonna do a review on them in the very near future. Really awesome series. I love this series. I thought they were so cool. And if they're putting exclusive figures in there, that gets me excited. That genuinely gets me excited to see it, because I really love that series. And NerdBlock hasn't had good exclusives in forever. All the exclusives they get are garbage. They have terrible partnerships. So if they have one with this company, yes, please. Like, let's get some exclusives in here. That would make me very happy, genuinely. So here's hoping to the future. Anyway, that brings our total value on the low end, 64, and on the high end, 72. So, no, 67 and 76. Sorry about that. So definitely double the value. But again, keep in mind, like I just said earlier in the video, these prices will drop. I had someone come to me, um, leave a comment, I think it was on the BAM box, about like, hey, these prices aren't accurate at all. Why'd you overprice them? What, do you work for the company or something? And it's like, no, I the prices were accurate when I did the video. I said in there that these are right now. The dip, they'll dip off every single day. So by the time this doofus like watched my videos days, weeks later, and the prices were different, it's like, yeah, no shit, man. That's what I said. That's what I'm saying now. So those are the prices as of now. This price will drop. Everyone listen to me so I don't have to keep repeating that in the comics. So that being said, after all said and done, you'll probably get around $50 value. That's my guess. Um, but that's still pretty close to double your value, and they're pretty consistent about giving $50 uh, on a $30 box, which is good. That's not bad at all. So expect those to drop. Um, overall, I thought it was an okay box. I don't care for the collectibles. The shirt looks cool. And the comics were okay, two of them were good, and the other two I could care less about, but they're exclusive covers, so... That all being said, you got back a decent amount of money, you got a good mix of stuff, not a lot of variety, so... I'm gonna give it a 6, 5 out of 10. You got good value, you got way more than you paid for, you got some new comics, they were all exclusive, even though they weren't the best choices, but... They put in an effort, they, they may not, it may be, maybe not everyone will love it, but they put in an effort and I appreciate that, so... Um, other than that, yeah, that's about all I was to say. And I did see their little Facebook thing that they posted about the BAM box, by the way. I saw that shit, and I've got words about that. I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to do it in the month review, because I have a lot of things I want to say about that. It's kind of surprising, and it's put off a lot of people, and it's causing an uproar. So, we'll talk about that in the monthly review, though. But for now, this has been Comic Block. 6.5 on the box, 7.5 on the shirt. Let me know what you guys thought about the box in the comments. Talk to you later. One more box to go for November, then the monthly review. And I might have a snack box in between, in between then, so you guys can watch me eat crunchy shit. Love y'all. Peace.